Hey there, bronze or silver jewels player. You're still on short stack, right? Okay, great. We need to talk. I have one piece of advice for you that will totally blow your mind and totally change your game. If you stop doing one thing, just one, right now, you will be a gold player tomorrow. What is it? Well, that's exactly what we're about to find out. Tell me if this situation looks familiar to you. It's kickoff time and you start by boosting towards the ball. Then at the end you front flip and your opponent smashes the ball straight over your head. Or how about this defensive situation? Your opponent is going for an aerial play and you challenge them by flipping into them hoping to smash the ball upfield. And instead this happens. Or one last situation, this time on offense. You've got an open net, what looks like a free goal. You take the shot, miss, and now you're in trouble. So tell me what do all of these three situations have in common? I'll give you a second to think about it. If you said you totally noobed up all three of them, yeah, you'd be right. But no, seriously, the one thing these situations all have in common is you tried to front flip into the ball. And that's exactly what my mind-blowing advice is. Stop front flipping into the ball. Now, I know what you're thinking, but isn't that like the only way for me to hit the ball hard towards my opponent's goal? Don't I need to front flip? No, on short stack, you really don't. Let me show you. Let's go back to that first situation, the kickoff. Instead of front flipping into the ball and having the ball blast over your own head, just do a single jump and ram into the ball with the nose of your car. This type of kickoff is called the ram, and I included it in my all kickoff video. Here's a clip. To do it, you just boost at the ball, then jump and hit it with the nose of your car. That's it. The aim with this one is to hit the ball right in the middle, which should totally stop the ball dead and stop it moving towards your goal. You can do it while boosting, which is the high risk option, or you can do it while not boosting. The key to this kickoff is to vary how much you boost during the kickoff. Sometimes you want to boost the whole way so you arrive at the ball as soon as possible. And other times you want to arrive a bit later. Doing this will confuse your opponent and result in, well, utter domination. And now the next situation in defense. Instead of 50ing your opponent by front flipping and trying to smash the ball away from them, instead just hit the ball with the nose of your car, or with the bottom of your car. The most important thing is that you don't use your flip and end up flying away from the ball. Stay as close to the ball as possible and block it from going past you. This is one of the most important things to remember on short stack. You never want to let the ball go past you. And the last situation in offense. The instinct in this situation is always to front flip into the ball to take the shot, which is totally understandable. Smashing the ball as hard as possible feels like the best way to ensure that it actually goes into the goal. However, I highly recommend avoiding this, and instead I recommend just hitting the ball with the nose or body of our car. The benefit of doing this is that in the event that you miss your shot, you'll still be in a position to get back and defend. Whereas if you just flip into the ball, if you miss, you could be in trouble. Okay, so if you shouldn't flip into the ball, then what should you use your flip for? Well, that's easy. You should use your flip for three different reasons. 
The first is for quick recoveries, by flipping directly down towards the ground, or flipping towards a surface like the walls or ceiling. The second is for fast movement around the field. Use your flip to jump off the ground and up to the walls, and back down again. And the last reason is for making saves. Of course there will be times where you'll need to quickly reach the ball to make a save, and in this case, flipping is totally fine. Okay, so that's my groundbreaking advice. However, I don't want you to just trust me and take my word for it. So now we're gonna jump into a silver five jewels match together and I'm gonna prove to you that it works. All right, nice, here we are in our jewels match. So this is like silver five, really close to promotion. So uh, anything that works in this will work in the rest of silver and, and bronze, obviously. All right, we'll start off with our full power ram kickoff. We'll flip down to recover. Is he going to put that in for us? He'll flip on this. They always do. That's time we'll just tap it in. There you go. No flipping on the shot. That's the most important there, uh, thing there. Okay, we'll do a full power one on this on the close kickoff again. And it's gone straight in. Nice. Okay, and then on the next far kickoff, we'll do a slower one. So we'll wait at the start and then we'll start boosting. Okay, so now that's caught him out a bit. He'll flip on this. No flipping on the shot. I don't mind if that I missed it. It's totally fine. So he's flipping on everything right now. He'll flip on this too, probably. And he's just giving us the ball. So often just sitting on the ground and waiting for them to flip into the ball will just give you the ball. Um, so that's why it's really important you don't do that. We'll do a delayed one again. We'll wait. He's got a flip, so we'll let him flip. Okay, I'm just going to tap it over him. As you can see, I didn't flip at all there. I didn't even flip up to the ceiling. And we can just... Just tap it over his head. Okay, we'll do a fast one this time. You can see we're winning every single kickoff at this point. Not flipping. Easy. So definitely your air dribble practice, uh, your air dribble skill skills are something you're going to want to practice. Um, it's a really important skill in, in every rank, really. So uh, we'll flip on this just to get us a bit of speed. Won't flip on the shot. He'll, he'll probably come for that. Not flipping on that shot either. Just using my body as like a ram all the time. You don't need, you pretty much never need to flip into the ball. Okay, and we'll just do a slower one again. Pop it over him. I'm not going to use any, any you know, mechanics like manual flip or anything like that. There you go, easy. So again, no flipping. <laughs> you really don't need to. And we got a forfeit with what, seven goals? So that was pretty pretty easy as you can see it does work like you obviously need some you know game sense you need some you know fakes kind of help a bit sometimes and and just patience knowing what your opponent's gonna do what they're likely to you know to do in each situation but at the end of the day if you just don't flip into any of your shots and you don't flip into the ball as often as possible you know unless it's a really important save that you need to make then you will be at an advantage most of the time in this rank so I highly recommend it. So that should be all the info you need to help you get out of silver and into gold. However, once you do reach gold and you want some further study and more tips to improve, I highly recommend watching my how to get out of platinum video. This video contains a whole bunch of super useful tips that would definitely help you out in gold rank. And check out my Jules training routine video that's specially designed to help you with your 1v1s game. And come join the Mogs Discord server if you want to hang out with me and other Mogs viewers. And check out my second channel if you want to see me play games live, like Rocket League, Sideswipe, and other games. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.